Uh, now we're going to the Housing Now TO and uh, Mr. Richardson, please. Thank you for inviting me to appear before you for the very first time at your committee today. My name is Mark Richardson and I am the technical lead volunteer at Housing Now TO. Created in 2018, we are a pro bono professional services collective who leverage our members' open data, civic tech, urban development, and financial analysis skills to help the City of Toronto to successfully achieve its targets for new build affordable rental apartment developments by 2030. We need our federal parliamentary leadership to focus on delivering surplus lands, approvals, funding, speed, and certainty to not-for-profits and their pension fund and private sector development partners. To be 100% clear, we do not represent the City of Toronto, Create TO, Toronto Community Housing, here today. Our Housing Now TO volunteers come from varied planning, architecture, technology, construction, educational and institutional backgrounds. We work to ensure that all new build affordable rental apartments in Toronto are viable, fundable, buildable and sustainable over a full 99 year period of affordability. We are an unpaid advocacy group. We're a think tank that focuses our work on answering the three key questions that every new affordable housing rental development is in jeopardy in 2023. The questions are, does it pencil? Does this project make any financial sense and who's going to carry the risk? Does it scale? Does this project, can it be expanded? Can it be repeated? How can we speed up the delivery? What are the delays and how can they be removed? Since early 2019, the City of Toronto has formally dedicated 22 parcels of surplus city-owned land and layered on financial incentives with a combined value of over $1 billion into the Housing Now program. That surplus land has been proactively upzoned to create a more viable opportunity to develop approximately 17,000 new mixed-use, mixed-income apartments and condos in transit-accessible neighbourhoods throughout the city. This is slowly being accomplished via City of Toronto partnerships with the private sector, Indigenous co-op and not-for-profit developers and operators. The first successful Housing Now site with 725 new rental apartments, including 218 new affordable rental units, finally broke ground 10 weeks ago near Etobicoke's Kipling subway and GO train stations. Every one of these Housing Now developments needs aggressive policy processing and financial support from our federal government. It is also a model that the federal government should consider for its own surplus lands that are located within the City of Toronto. The land is leased for 99 years, it is not sold. The land is aggressively upzoned for scale and viability before it goes into the leasing market. A minimum of one-third of the units on re or residential space are committed to affordable rentals for the full 99-year term of the land lease. Additional incentives, rebates and tax waivers are applied to deepen the affordable rents on different segments of those apartments. And partnerships are enabled and supported between the private sector, Indigenous co-op and not-for-profit partners on Housing Now sites. Through our volunteers' work with the Uni University of British Columbia's Housing Assessment Resource Tool, or HART, we have identified that the City of Toronto alone has a deficit of over 210,000 apartments that we need that would rent below $1,700 a month, according to the 2021 census. And over 70% of full-time minimum wage households in Toronto could not find affordable rental housing in 2021. Those numbers are only worse today in 2023. All of our federal political parties agree we have a housing crisis. Canada's largest cities have a housing emergency, and it requires our federal government to have a wartime response to deliver net new supply at speed and at scale. Time is the enemy of new affordable rental apartment developments everywhere, but especially in Toronto. A, a standard of 600 square foot affordable rental apartment in 2010 would have cost about $210,000 to build. By 2017, that same apartment development had risen, the cost had risen to $276,000 per unit. And as I sit here today, the same apartment's cost now hover around $470,000 per unit. While we sit in this meeting, construction costs are increasing and they are continuing to rise. And affordable rental housing developers are all holding our breaths to see what the Bank of Canada's next interest rate announcement will be on October 25th. Thank you for your time. Well, thank you, uh, Mr. Richardson. And uh, now we'll